Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, I am in the frame again. It's not exactly my comfort zone, but this video is a little bit more story based. So that's what we're doing today as opposed to the usual voiceover. One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how did Lennon become free roam? How did you transition her to free roaming? What steps did you take? Um, isn't it dangerous, etc., etc. So I thought it would be really important to address these questions and kind of give you guys a different perspective and maybe help you transition your rabbit into becoming a free roamer. Basically, the most ideal situation for any rabbit is to be free roaming. And I know that's not always possible for every family. I know not everyone's in the position to do that. Um, everyone's living situation is different. For me, I live in a small studio, so it was not very difficult bunny proofing my four walls, honestly. But nonetheless, um, I'm a firm believer in where there's a will, there's a way. So these are some other great alternatives to free roaming that I highly suggest if you're not already doing it. One, provide your rabbit with a large X pen or play pen. Two, um, you can provide your rabbit with their own room or maybe a den, an office, something that you might not be using all the time. And three, you can block off a certain area for them, maybe give them the kitchen and then use a baby gate to block off to other areas of the house. Those are all great alternatives. Um, one thing that really upsets me though is the misconception that bunnies belong in cages or in hutches outside. They don't. Um, that's really all I can say about that. If you keep your bunny outside, they're going to feel isolated. They're not going to feel connected with you. You should really be sharing a space with your rabbit. You want them to feel like part of your family. If you wouldn't keep your dog or your cat outside, don't keep your rabbit outside. Even if they are with other bunnies and they have companionship, you're still subjecting them to potentially bad weather conditions such as really hot weather, really cold weather, rain, snow, etc. And you're also subjecting them to many kinds of predators depending on where you live. Basically, it's, it's not a good situation to put your rabbit in. And as far as leaving them in a cage, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you want your animal to feel free. You don't want them to feel trapped or imprisoned. Um, and if you've ever seen your rabbit chewing on the cage bars or rattling their cage bars, it's because they really want to get out. So moving on, how did Lennon become free roam? So when I first got Lennon, she was six weeks old and she was in a cage initially because I didn't really have all the knowledge that I have now. I didn't know that rabbits could be litter box trained and I think it's really important to emphasize if you want your bunny to free roam, they've got to be potty trained. But here's another step. They really should be spayed or neutered because that's really going to help with the territorial and hormonal markings. So yes, it sounds like a lot of work, but I'm telling you guys, it's seriously really rewarding to be able to have a free roaming bunny. So don't let that stuff scare you off. So she was in a cage, but let me tell you, she grew out of that thing really fast. Got her when she was six weeks old. So basically, like a month or two later, she couldn't really fit in it anymore. <laughs> and that's a really common mistake that happens with a lot of people. So that cage didn't last very long, but I live in such a small space and like I don't really have room to set up a big playpen or anything like that. So I figured, well, maybe I'll custom build my own cage um, using NIC grids because I've seen a lot of people do that and there's some beautiful um, setups out there on the internet if you Google them. But <laughs> let's just say mine wasn't very elaborate. It was poorly built and um, every time I would come home, Lennon found a way to escape her NIC cage. And because the grids, they're so lightweight, if you really don't have them weighed down very securely, um, your rabbit can easily lift those things. And Lennon would just find ways to like collapse the whole thing and <laughs> like just find her way out. And one thing you should know about rabbits is they are some of the greatest escape artists you will ever know. I mean, they can dig and hop and chew themselves out of so many different situations. 
that is their art form. But basically, I would come home from work and she would just be chilling on the floor, all stretched out. All she was missing was a tanning bed and a pina colada. And she'd be like, hey mom, guess what? I got out. So when I'd come home and I'd find her like that, I just pretty much figured she's already free roaming so I might as well just accept it and so I decided to bunny proof everything that I could think of. I mean I had bunny proofed things before like some cords and wires and things like that but I took it to a different level obviously. Um, you know I had to protect my couch and all these things. So one thing I really appreciate about this is it's made me a much more organized person and I don't have things like cables and cords kind of dangling all over the place like I used to. I don't come home and kick off my shoes and leave them on the floor. Um, I don't just, I don't have things lying around anymore basically. Stuff that I do leave on the floor um, for her are obviously her toys and things like that. Everything is neatly tucked away and thick and span and I kind of really appreciate that. I think you probably would too. And additionally, another benefit to free roaming is there's a lot less cleaning to do. And I know that sounds a bit odd, but normally when your bunny is enclosed in a small space, such as a cage or something, they tend to focus all their energy into that area and they become very frustrated and very bored and they'll kick their hay out of their litter box, they'll tip over their food bowls or their water bowls. And you kind of find yourself cleaning out the cage like on a daily basis. You know, you're shaking out all the fleece, there's fur everywhere. You're constantly having to wipe things down. And I don't know, to me, it just didn't seem very practical. Whereas now at the most with Lennon free roaming, you know, I'll vacuum once a day. Um, and just like clean out her litter box on a regular basis and that's kind of the extent of it. And so as a person, as a human, and as a bunny mom, you learn to adapt, you know, because that's what we do best, we adapt. And um, so I've molded my lifestyle to hers, you know, and she's molded hers to mine a little bit. And when I tell her, no, 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 you can't touch that, she, she understands. I think we have to give our bunnies a little bit more credit than we normally do. You know, free roaming is obviously very rewarding. They can kind of sleep wherever they want, eat wherever they want. So that's kind of how I transitioned her. I know a lot of people who let their bunnies free roam and you know, it's almost like once you do it, you can never go back. You can never go back to caging or X pens or anything like that. But anyway, you guys, thanks for tuning in. I have a lot of cool videos um, coming up. One is going to be a 99 cent store haul because um, I buy so much stuff for Lennon at the 99 cent store. Let me know if that's something you want to see. And the other one is I want to do some more rabbit hacks and tips and tricks. So let me know in the comments below what's on your mind. It, thank you so much for tuning in and for being awesome subscribers. See you later.